Just look at that. That is absolutely incredible. That is tart and rasher. Hi everyone, welcome to Backyard Chef. I'm Rick. Today we are doing something I saw in Ireland and as a young man and I thought, what the heck is that? We are making tart and rasher. Now it starts with some pastry. I've made pastry loads of times on the channel, but I'll crack on, make the pastry, and then we'll get on to the tart and rasher. So usual, in a bowl, I have the flour, shortening, and butter. I've already got salt in, and we're just going to bring it together. Nice and straightforward. No hassle. Fingers and thumbs. Get your butter and shortening or lard. Whatever you're using, margarine. Just bring it together with your flour and then you just start to lift and rub gently. Nice and quick this. Nice and quick. There we go, a couple of minutes, that's good enough. Egg, water, apple cider vinegar. Mix in. Hand in, bring it together. Nice and steady, just bring it all together in there. Okay, that's good enough. Less than five minutes. Okay, so you want your oven on at home, 380, 190. I'm going to preheat mine, 170. Done. Now, I was going to use a nine inch false bottomed pie tin. I've decided I'm going to make this in a deep dish. I think it warrants a, a bit deeper dish actually. It just means that we'll probably have to put a plate on to turn it out. That doesn't matter. I have a piece of parchment paper I've already cut. I'm going to put that in the bottom. It'll just help coming out. So we're going to put that to one side. A little bit of flour on there, look. I'm going to take some of our pastry and we've only got a tin that size, so we're going to probably just take that much. So that'll do there. A little bit of flour on our pin. And let's start rolling. So as per usual, we haven't rested this. So I think that will do very nicely. We want that in there. All the way into the bottom. And then what we'll do is we'll just whiz that like that and what's going to happen is it's going to shrink in a little bit but it should keep a top on there we hope pastry don't throw away put it all together wrap it up use it for another project Get yourself a fork, prick it all over the bottom. Stop it from rising up. 
nice and straightforward this. Take yourself some parchment paper or grease roof paper, give it a screw in up. And then put that in our tart tin. I'm using baking beads, but you know you can use rice. You can even use sugar, that's up to you. Push it out to the side, try to stop it from coming in. If it comes in, it comes in. Don't worry about it. We just try and prevent it a little bit. On a tray. And that's going in the oven for 15 minutes. Okay, in there. And we want to be doing 15 minutes. 15 minutes baking and then it's going to come out. We're going to seal it with some egg and we'll put it back in for about three minutes and then we'll carry on. So let's get a pan on. Now I've got a lot of chopped up bacon in here and we're going to chuck it in there. So what I've done, I've taken the rashes of bacon, the streaky end and the loin end and I've cubed it all up. I've got 10 rashes of bacon in here. They weren't so big. If you have large rashes, you can get away with eight. And I'll probably put eight in the menu. So it's just a quick stir fry on there. And in with our onion, we're going to fry all that together. I've not added any oil. I'm going to rely on the fats coming out of the bacon to cook everything in here. And that's going to be our flavor. Don't forget, you can customize this. You can get some bacon you can put in some ham or some spam up to you what i am doing though i am using smoky bacon and that smoky bacon is going to get that smoky flavor all the way through our tart so just give it a stir around we're not trying to brown it as such but if we get any browning on it it's fine don't worry about it you know let's not stress over it just give it a little bit of a cooking and then when this is cooked off, it's going to go in our tart. That's it, flame off. And let it cool down while we carry on with our tart. Okay, there we go, that comes out of there. Then all we do is take the baking beads out. We're using egg. And I've got some egg in here. I'm just going to just give that a little beating. Beat the egg up. I want to egg wash this tart in. So all we're going to do is a little bit of egg in there. What happens now, we put this back in for a couple of minutes and it seals. It's an old fashioned trick to seal up your tart. So when you put your wet mixture in, you do not have a soggy bottom on your pie. And that goes back in the oven, just for a couple of minutes. It's a super, super quick recipe this. Really, really quick to bring together. Okay, that's our eggs in there. And we want to be going in with about a cup of cream, somewhere round about there. Or you can use milk. Use evaporated milk, it doesn't matter. In there with some seasoning. I'm only using black pepper, but because the bacon is salty enough. Now I am going in there with a little bit of nutmeg. Nutmeg is optional. Nice beat up. You know, nutmeg works really, really well with salty bacon. <laughs> Okay, just get our tart out of there. 
So our egg and cream mixture is mixed together nicely. One side. And then what we're going to do is put our bacon and our onion mixture in our tart tin. Now, don't squash it in. Just nice like that. What we want to do with our mixture is let the mixture go all the way around everything as it goes in. And then we're in there with our mixture. And then what we need to be doing is adding some cheese. We want about a cup of cheddar, you know. Do as much as you want. It depends how cheesy you want it. And that's going to sink in there, obviously. Now, some people mix it all in before tipping it in. But I like to just put it on and give it a little tap. It goes just under the surface instead of being mixed all the way through. I want that big layer of bacon in there. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit more, just a sneaky one, you know? I want that little bit over the top. And then that goes in the oven for 20 minutes. Okay, that's got it, I think. We'll have that out of there. That looks amazing. I think it might sink in a little bit, but you know, we'll have to wait a little minute and see what happens. It might not, we might be lucky. So we'll let it cool down a little minute, probably about 10 minutes and then we'll cut a slice. Okay, this is quite cool enough now to get out. Now, everybody's gonna say, how do you get it out of there? Because it's in one of those tins. Well, basically you get a plate and you put the plate over it and you turn it upside down. And then it's just a case of lift that off. We got a lovely cooked bottom on there, look. And this is where we have to be careful because even I squash it too hard sometimes. So we take another plate and we gently turn it over. And there is our, and there is our tart and rasher on a plate ready for cutting. That is superb. Just look, <laughs> look at that tartan rasher. Now we know the pastry is crumbly, it's going to crumble all over, but let's get in there and let's take a slice. See if we can get it without crumbling it. I don't think so, because we make lovely short crust pastry. Whoa, it cracked through there. Oh, look at <laughs> that. That is tart and rasher made. That is superb. The smell of all that smoky bacon coming out of there. My mouth is already watering. Let's give it a taste test. Just look at that. That is absolutely incredible. That is tart and rasher. Let's give it a taste test. Come on, we got to get in here. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Look at all that rasher in there. Look at that. <laughs> that. My mouth is really, really watering. Wow, wow, <laughs> wow. That is absolutely amazing. That is really, really good. Serve that. Serve that with a side of mashed potatoes or cold cannon or some cabbage. That is phenomenal. 
the taste is just, it's off the charts. It really is. That onion and that bacon, the cream and the egg. You've got the cheese in there. It's just, it's just all together. That is superb. Mmm. It's all very moist all the way through as well because of the bacon. That is tremendous. That really is good. Well, that's tart and rasher made if you like what we're doing. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe. Share with your friends, all that kind of stuff. We'll catch you in the next video.